Good afternoon and welcome to the latest issue of Playprint 21, the weekly video news bulletin for the Australia and New Zealand print industry. This issue is sponsored by XMPi. Take the quiz with XMPi and see how their solutions can work for you. Now go to do-more.xmpi.com. The big story in printing this week is paper supply. War in Ukraine, sanctions on Russia, the UPM strike, or which has stopped production at the uh, 10 billion dollar, 10 billion euro a year company since uh, the uh, start of the year, the ongoing shipping crisis, all causing concern amongst Aussie and Kiwi printers. Of course, they use a lot of European paper for their commercial publishing and label work. However, good news is that the two big ANZ principal materials distributors, uh, that's Ball and Dogger and Spices, uh, both say that local printers do not need to over be overly alarmed over paper, saying they have supply under control. Although flexibility over brands uh, may be needed, they say, and prices sadly are certain to rise. Uh, both the major local distributors are urging calm to the local market, saying the situation is being carefully monitored uh, day by day by them and managed. Tony Bertrand, marketing manager at, B at uh, Ball and Doggett, said uh, supply to the local market is under control. There are impacts, uh, but these are around shipping and pricing. Lead times are longer, prices are rising, uh, but Ball & Doggett sources its product from Asia and North America as well as Europe. And uh, Bertrand says, we'll maintain supply. David Martin, CEO of Spices, said uh, managing supply is our job. It's what we do and what we'll continue to do. There's no doubt supply to the local print market uh, will be maintained. Great news for printers. We, Martin says we support, we source from multiple locations. Europe's just one of them. Local printers will continue to be able to order and receive supply. Uh, Bertrand, Tony Bertrand said, if I was a printer, I'd be staying close to my suppliers, talking to them, and maybe looking at doing things differently, a bit differently, uh, where possible. Uh, he cites, for instance, using the uh, Icon Simon model from uh, Ball and Dogger, which essentially switches inventory from the Ball and Dogger warehouse to the printer. Uh, print, he said printers may need to consider alternatives to the brand they've used, uh, but we will provide those alternatives. Uh, and David Martin said the same thing. Uh, the need for printers to be flexible is, is that message from Spices. Martin saying a greater choice may be problematic, but if that proves to be the case, Spices will definitely supply other grades with the same performance and properties. Today, Print21 is outside a local news agent for two reasons. Uh, first, because local newspaper publishers uh, say they may have to close titles, as Norsky Skog uh, is trying to push through cost increases, price increases, for 30% for newsprint and up to 45% for other papers, from its Boyer mill down there in Tasmania. Parent company has told Boyer it has to be profitable. Uh, Boyer has faced intense competition over the years from cheap Asian imports, uh, but that competition is now receding. The big question, of course, is whether their customers, or more correctly, their customers' customers, in other words, advertisers in newspapers, will pay the price, because uh, it will translate into higher costs for advertising in those newspapers. Tony Kendall, Managing Director of Regional Publishing Company, the biggest regional publishing company in the country, Australian Comedia, Community Media, uh, doesn't think so, saying these increases will likely cause the closure of titles that are currently teetering on the edge of profitability. Uh, second reason Print 21 is outside the local news agent this week uh, is because uh, of good news. Print magazines are bouncing back. Uh, it's good news, of course, for the magazine publishers, really good news for printers. All but three of the top 25 magazines saw an uptick, uptick in readership over the last year. Foxtel magazine up by a whopping 50%, uh, News Corp's taste.com.au magazine up by 48.5%. Australia's biggest magazines are getting bigger, with the big two, uh, which aren't available here, they're in from the supermarkets, Coles and Woolworths Fresh, gaining significantly more readers in the past 12 months. Uh, Coles, printed by Ive, now has a monthly print run of 1.8 million. Woolworths Fresh magazine, printed by Ovato, 1.75 million, million copies a month being printed. Uh, and uh, the Christmas issue saw 2.5 million copies pumped out by Ovato. In other news, commercial print investment continues. Wall's end based business Generate is entering the digital label print market uh, intends to attract new business with its new Oki Pro 1050 label printer, uh, which comes with a Virgo finishing system. While Gold Coast operation Foyer Printing, uh, Foyer has installed Printflow DIPS, supplied by Color Graphic Services, uh, on its two B2 Komoris, bringing, it says, digital ink preset control uh, to the machines, reducing make ready by half, and improving color control, and reducing waste. 
For all these stories and more in full detail, go to the ANZ Print Industry news site, print21.com.au. That's it for this week's. That's it for this week's. Thanks to our sponsor, XMPI. Create sticky relationships with your customers and grow your volume and generate revenue from new applications. Go to do-more.xmi.com for full details. This is Wayne Robinson, Editor of Printing Week, Print 21, signing off.